Okay, the next topic to come up was the equation of a circle. Now, the thing to remember with the equations of circles is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared, where a, b is the center of the circle. So notice that if the center of the circle was 3, 7, that would be x minus 3, and then y minus 7. Or if the center of the circle was 3 minus 7, it would be x minus 3 squared plus y plus 7 squared. So just a quick thing there, because a lot of people drop marks on that. Okay, so here we've got a circle with center 7, 8. So the center is right here, and q is 10, 13. And we've got to find the length, pq. So what we're doing here is we're looking for the radius. So the way you figure out the distance between two points is if we say that p is 7, 8, and q is 10, 13. If you go down and then go across, we can see that p is 7 across, q is 10 across, that's a gap of 3. p is 8 up. Q is 13 up, so that's a gap of 5. So if we've got a right angle triangle there, then you can do Pythagoras. So we're going to do 3 squared plus 5 squared, and that equals R squared. So R squared equals 9 plus 25. So R equals the square root of 34. So there you go. The square root of 34 is for two marks there. Hence, write down the equation for C. So using this thing here, the centre is going to be, so the centre there is 7, 8, so it's going to be x minus 7 squared plus y minus 8 squared equals the radius squared. Now the radius is the square root of 34, so squared is simply going to be 34. So that's part B. Now the line L um, is a tangent to C. We've got to work out the equation of that line. So every time it says work out the equation of a line, we're looking at y minus y1, just like in uh, just like in C1, which we don't need to think about for a while now. So y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, because we're looking for the equation of a line. Now the two things we need is we need to have a coordinate. So we've got the coordinates. Q lies on the line, so the coordinates are going to be 10, 13. And the other thing we need to know is the gradient. Now the one thing to remember about tangents and radius is that they meet at right angles. So therefore the gradient of the radius is going to be perpendicular to the gradient of this. So if we have a look at the gradient of the radius, it's going to be height over horizontal distance, that's going to be 5 over 3. So 5 over 3 is the gradient of the radius, so therefore the perpendicular gradient, we're going to make it a minus, we're going to flip upside down, so 3 fifths. So if we substitute those pieces of information in, we can have y minus 13 equals minus 3 fifths x minus 10. And then we need it looking like this format here. So if we time through by 5, so take this over to the other side, it's going to be 5y minus 65. Then we multiply out with a minus 3, minus 3x plus 30, just be careful with the minuses there. Then get everything onto one side, so we're going to make the x positive. So bring it over to the left hand side, so we get 3x plus 5y minus 95 equals 0. And that's it. That is 8 marks. So this question appears on all papers, to be fair. So on 2015, it looked like this, but it was only question 2. But it's pretty much the same questions we've just done. And I would always do a diagram just so we can see what we're talking about here. So we've got a circle with centre 2, 1. So 2 across, 1 down. That's going to be the centre of the circle. So if we just say that is 2 minus 1. And then we've got 4 minus 5. So that's going to be further across and further down. So that's going to be 4 minus 5 there. And our circle's going to look like something like that. And so we've got to find the equation of a circle. So it's going to look like what, sorry? x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. So we know that it's going to be x minus 2 squared plus, now be careful with this, because it's y minus minus 1, so it's going to be y plus 1 squared, and that equals the radius squared. So the radius is simply the distance between them squared. So again, if we do the right angle triangle, so... 
the, uh, the centre was two across, the bit on the outside was four across, so that's going to be a distance of two. Um, the centre was one down, the bit on the circumference was five down, so that's a difference of four. So the radius squared equals four squared plus two squared. So the radius squared equals 20, because that's going to be 16 plus four, obviously. So then the radius equals the square root of 20. Now, of course, you could write the square root of 20 as the square root of 4, square root of 5, so 2 root 5. However, the equation over here says radius squared. So if the radius is the square root of 20, the radius squared is simply going to be 20. And that's our three marks. Find the equation to the tangent to the circle at, at point A. Given your answer in the form ax plus py plus c equals it. We've just done this question. So let's do it again. So the tangent looks like that there. So we find the equation of a tangent. So it's going to be y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So we have got a point on the line which is 4 minus 5. But what we don't have is we don't have the gradient. But we know that the gradient of this line here, this change in height is 4, change horizontally is 2. So it's 4 over 2 which equals 2. However, if you look at this, um, just by doing our diagram, and again, it, it's easy to see if we've done a diagram, you can see that this slopes down. So it's going to be minus 4 over 2, and then equals minus 2. So for the perpendicular gradient, we're going to change the sign and flip upside down. So the perpendicular gradient equals 1 half. And then we substitute these into our equation. So y minus, minus 5, so y plus 5 equals one half x minus four and then they want it in this format here so we've got fractions so we're going to times this two to the other side to get two y plus ten and multiply it the one equals x minus four personal preference i prefer the x being positive so x minus two y minus fourteen equals zero and that's enough to get us all the marks in that one so that's the 2016-2015 covered now we're going to have a look at the 2014. Now this is question 9, so this should be a little bit trickier. So, um, yes, yeah, so it's a little bit trickier, this one. Now we know that Q is, said in the question, that is 11 and then K, and we've got to work out what the value of K is. So how are we going to do that? Um, well, let's think about what we know. We know that a radius and a tangent, which we're told, and they meet at right angles, then if we were to join that up there, we'd have a right angle triangle. So we could then, make it a little bit straighter, we could then work out what that distance is there. Blimey, I'm there. There we go. So we can work out what this distance is here. So in order to do that, if we've got a right angle triangle, we've got 4, we've got 6 root 5. So we're going to do 4 squared plus 6 root 5 squared. And then we're going to square root that. So that's going to be the square root of 16. Now 6 root 5 times 6 root 5. 6 times 6 is um, 36. 5 times 5 is... So root 5 times root 5 is 5. So 5 times 36 is going to be 180. So 16 plus 180 equals 196. And nicely the square root of 196 equals 14. So we know that this here is 14. Now if we decide to make another triangle because we know that... Q is 11 across. So we know it's 11 across, but we don't know what the height is. But we know the diagonal distance now is 14. So if we know that's 11, that's 14. We'll try and work on that there. So bear in mind that it says the exact value. Hopefully that should be something that we could write as a third. So if we're going to do that, we're going to say that 14 squared equals... 11 squared plus something else squared. So that's going to be 196 equals 121 plus something squared. So take away 121 and we've got 75 equals the height squared. So the height is going to equal the square root of 75, which we can say is root 25 root 3. So that's going to be 5 root 3. So the value of k is... Um, so the height is going to be 5 root 3, so therefore the value of k is going to be 5 root 3. And 
if we know that the value of k is 5 root 3, the equation for the circle is going to be x minus the x coordinate, so that's going to be x minus 11 squared, plus y minus, and then the y coordinate squared, which we just worked out is 5 root 3 squared, and that equals the radius squared, and the radius here we can see is 4, so that's going to equal 16, and that's how to do all of the coordinate geometry questions in terms of circles for these papers.